homage to the Lord Buddha, the monks, the nuns, dear devotees. Our topic is Middle Path. 2500 years ago in India, there were 62 religions active. There were many religious teachers. They were Nikantanatha Putta, Pakuda Kachayana, Sande Villatta Putta, Purna Kasapa, Makkali Gosala, and others. There were uh, two extremes follows. The Buddha started the sermon by advising them to give up to esteems. What is that esteems? This uh, the enjoyment of sensual pleasures and the tormenting of the body. The Buddha advised too much. Sensual places because they were base, worldly, not noble and helpful for spiritual development. On the other hand, tormenting the body was painful, not noble and also not helpful for a spiritual development. He advised them to follow the middle path called Majjima Patipada which is helpful to see things clearly as they are to gain in knowledge. Higher wisdom, peace, enlightenment and Nibbana. The best of path is the noble eightfold path. The best of truth are the four truths of all state. None attachment is the best. The best of men is the enlightened one. The Buddha's sermon was called the Dhamma Chakra Pavattana Sutta, which means the establishment of wisdom or the turning of the wheel of truth. This sermon was preached to five ascetics at the deer park in Isipatana near Benas. Many devas and brahmas uh, present to listening to the sermon. The four noble truths sum up in a systematic formula the central 
teaching of the Buddha. There are the truth of suffering, the truth of the cause of suffering, the truth of the end of suffering, the truth of the path teaching to the end of suffering or leading to the end of suffering. Suffering is fact of life. They are for unavoidable physical suffering, birth, old age, sickness and death. There are also three forms of mental suffering. Separation from the people one loves. Contact with people one dislikes and the frustration of desire. The truth of suffering must be recognized before the solution to the real problem of life can be found. The cause of suffering. The Buddha had observed that life is suffering before he could find a solution to the problem of suffering life. He had first to look for the cause of suffering. The Buddha was just like a good doctor who first observes a patient symptoms and identifies the cause of the illness before prescribing a cure. The Buddha discovered that the direct cause of suffering are desire or craving and ignorance. This is the truth of the cause of suffering. In order to remove suffering, people must know its cause of craving and ignorance are uh, the two main causes of suffering people crave for the pleasures of the senses like enjoying good food, be music like them are uh, pleasant company but these pleasures do not last and people become restless and dissatisfied desire. All these lead to suffering. People also crave life and this leads to birth and birth. 
again and birth and birth. Craving is rooted in ignorance. What or which means not knowing the truth about things. When wisdom is accurate, ignorance is removed and suffering ends. People must have confidence in the Buddha when he says that the end of suffering is really possible, even though they may not now be able to experience it themselves. Nirvana or the end of suffering is the goal of the Buddhist path. Then Nirvana is described as true happiness, peace and enlightenment. But people have no experience nirvana for themselves to know what it is really like. The end of suffering, the path to the end of suffering is the middle path taught by the Buddha. This is the noble eightfold path of right understanding, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, right concentration. The path may be divided into the three ways of practice, namely good conduct, mental development and wisdom or worthy like that, concentration and virtues, then we can free from sorrow, best way this is for eternal Nibbana.